so now you can uh, see here uh, there is a lump on the posterior aspect of the uh, right or the right popliteal fossa region and the left side popliteal fossa region seems to be entirely normal so then uh, when i'm considering the right popliteal fossa there is a fusiform enlargement which is hemispherical in shape roughly 7 centimeters into 6 centimeters in size and i can't see any other skin changes over the lump no previous surgical scars also and lump seems to be not foam to touch and then it seems to be non tender and it uh, the lump uh, the margin seems to be well demarcated and surface is smooth and it doesn't show any transmitted pulsation of expansile pulsation and lump seems to be cystic in consistency and it shows fluctuation in either side so i want to transilluminate and see uh transilluminate and see so even though so it seems to be non-transilluminable non the lump is not transilluminating okay lump is not transilluminating okay fairly transilluminable okay i can see just focus on that you can see that okay it is transilluminating i don't think that it is going to be clear in the video it is transilluminating but it's fairly transilluminable right okay then I just want to elevate this link and see whether the lump is going to reduce on elevation. It is not elevating while the limb is elevated, right? So it is unlikely to be lump in venous origin. Now I'm trying to reduce the lump when I am pressing over the lump and ask the patient to flex the knee. Now see very closely the lump has completely reduced into the lump has completely reduced into the joint cavity when the when i'm applying pressure over the lump and then when i'm flexing the knee lump has completely reduced into the joint cavity now when i'm extending the knee you observe the lump is reappearing the lump is reappearing see the lump is nicely reappearing so that is something specific for a Baker system. Baker system.